here on the Central Coast. It is the first Friday night that restaurants are back open for dine-in seating in San Benito County legally. The county given the green light by the state to accelerate into stage two of reopening. Action News 8 reporter Christopher Salas is live in Hollister with a look on how the first Friday went. Christopher? Dan, we only found one business here in downtown Hollister. We're on San Benito Street that was open for dine in service. It's La Katrina here and they didn't take customers first come first serve. You actually had to make a reservation so they could keep count of how many customers they would have at one time. We spoke with some of those customers. They were very excited to have the dine in experience again. It's the first Friday night for dine in patrons at restaurants in San Benito County. I'm excited, but I'm a little scared. We felt like we've been in jail for the last couple of months. Outside La Katrina, okay. customers were lining up for what they called a taste of freedom. I feel very um, saddened by the fact that we've given up our constitutional rights and our liberties so easily. Inside the restaurant, it's our first look at what could be the new normal, not just here, but across the nation as more businesses reopen amid the COVID-19 pandemic. It was hard because we need to do something, uh, some improvements. Owner Gustavo Gonzalez says he's following all safety protocols required by the county, including increasing cleaning efforts, socially distancing tables, and masking his staff. The ones we spoke with say they feel safe to return to work, but Gonzalez said not all of his employees were ready. But hopefully uh, everything it's uh, better soon. We hope to uh, have a full, full, uh, or, or full staff. It's the same story for other restaurants. Um, I'm going to have hand sanitizers in every corner. Still prepping to get their doors open. Spoke to the staff and I said, if you guys fear the risk factor, I understand. But for Raul, he said that risk is worth taking. But that's a smaller risk than the risk I'm running by not opening and having to close my doors. If I don't open, that's it. In a, give me a month and Monjas is gone, no more. And some restaurants we spoke with tonight say they still can't open because under the new restrictions, tables have to be six feet apart and that's just not enough business for them to make it worth it to open. So tonight, Hollister City Council voted to try and help those businesses out starting next Friday. San Benito Street, where I'm standing between 4th Street and South Street will be closed to all vehicle traffic. It's going to be open specifically for restaurants to put some tables and chairs out in the street. They're going to have tables and chairs out there. They're going to close off the intersection here behind me, and they are going to allow public alcohol consumption. Dan, back to you. Thank you, Christopher.